Real quick before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know if you would like to be entered in a contest to win the 36 uh, code cards from this X and Y booster box, all you have to do is subscribe to me and leave a comment on this video. Uh, doesn't matter what it says, you'll be entered. Uh, only comment once. If you comment more than once, you're not going to get more than one entry, so there's no point. Um, and I will do the drawing at the end of June, so you have a little bit over a week or so, about a week to enter, all, but all you have to do is comment and subscribe, so it's not that hard. So uh, good luck to everyone, and enjoy the video. Hey everybody, it's Togli, and I will finally be opening a booster box of Pokemon X and Y cards. I know it's been a long time. Uh, it's been a while since this set came out, and it's been a long time since my last booster box opening. But it's finally time to get into this. But before we begin, just want to note one thing. We have the X and Y, and then we've got some green here. So I think it's only fitting to uh, add in Pokemon Z in green for Zygarde, because Zygarde's a legendary too. So anyway, uh, let me get the plastic off of this while I just talk a bit about the box. Um, so in general, uh, this set, people have not been getting... Come on. Come on. Oh. There we go. In general, what I was saying is people have not been getting very good pull ratios from this box. Um, so that's not really that great of news because hopefully I've, I'm obviously looking to get some nice ultra rares such as like uh, some of the full arts or mega evolution cards would be really cool. I'd really like to get one of either the Venusaur or Blastoise or even both if I was really lucky. Um, but anyway, that's the plastic off. Now let's uh, actually open this up. Got the X and Y there. Always tough to do. And no, it's not. Hold on. there we go. Okay. So now we have the booster box set up with the 18 packs on each side. And I really like the uh, pack arts for this. Of course, I'm gonna try to save them as I always do. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else to be said about this. So let's just start off with six packs. We've got one, two, three, four. Five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it's been a long time since I was doing this. Let me just move this to the side. All right, so we have the Veltal pack art, the Xerneas pack art, the Mega Blastoise pack art, and the Mega Venusaur pack art. And then extras of Veltal and Xerneas. So those are the four pack arts. Here's my 3DS to put the cards on. Have uh, the X and Y guidebook just in case I get any ultra rares to prop those up and as always I will do be doing a code card giveaway for the code cards at the end of the box so stay tuned for that and let's get into this trying to save the pack arts of course but not saving it right away uh, code card to the side and it should be a one two three rare and reverse as it was in the uh basically all black and well not all black and white sets but most sets that aren't legendary treasures so starting off with x and y cards starting off with a chess pin i love chess pin as you should know if you saw my opening of the starter sets uh chess pin is my favorite of the starters in the basic form at least as i said it's a really cute looking card in k again like the background don't really like the uh picture of it though i love in k i used one in game phantom that's a pretty cool looking card Bunnelby. I really like the artwork in these X and Y cards. It looks really cool. And Pumpkaboo. That's really cool. Both Pumpkaboo and Phantom actually have a shiny Phantom. And I like Pumpkaboo, how it's kind of like a jack-o'-lantern with the uh, lights shining out of the pumpkin. I had a uh, like a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern type flashlight that looked similar to this. Uh, then for the uncommons, we have Illumise, uh, Super Potion, and Herdier. So, 
interesting. All the commons were Gen 6 Pokemon, and none of the uncommons were Gen 6 Pokemon. The uh, reverse is a reverse Simisage. That is a rare. That's pretty cool. And the first rare of the box is a Furfro Hollow. That's really nice. I love the uh, hollow designs on these cards. And in the black and white sets, they were just lines across. In X and Y, they're kind of like shimmery patterns, diagonal, which I really like. Uh, Furfro is pretty cool. Also has the fur coat. is just minus 20 damage. Not as good as its in-game ability, but still pretty cool. Uh, awesome. Starting off the box with a hollow. That's really nice. Uh, moving on, we have a Xerneas pack. And didn't save the artwork. I may not worry immediately about saving pack arts. Uh, I'll worry more about it later into the box. Code card to the side. One, two, three, rare and reverse. And let's get into this pack. So we have for the commons Diglett, and that looks pretty cool. Uh, Tail, that looks really cool with Aerial Ace. The, uh, wow, 50% chance of doing 40 damage instead of 10. I really like the artwork on this. It look, looks like it's zooming by fast. Ekans, that's got a cool background. I like the clouds. Lillipop, that's really cute. And Doduo, interesting. All the commons in this were non Gen 6 Pokemon. Then for the uncommons, we have Tunsparce, everyone's favorite Pokemon. Uh, Brakeson, that's pretty cool looking. I like how it has the mountains, just like in the one from the starter set. And Crocorock, which has the best cry in the anime. And that looks pretty cool. The reverse is a Jigglypuff. That's a common fairy type. Got some really cool artwork. I like that. And the rare is a Bibarel. That is a regular rare. Uh, hypno headbutt and double headbutt as its moves. That's kind of weird. Alright, moving on to uh, Mega Blastoise pack. These really just rip apart easily. It's going to be pretty hard to save these packs. I may have to just end up using scissors at the end. Oops. Alrighty, let's see. We have Weedle, Rhyhorn running straight ahead, uh, like on Route 9, I believe it is. Bidoof, Spoink. It's kind of cute. And Ponyard. Wow, that arm is a lot longer than its other arm. For the Uncommons, we have Quilladin, who looks pretty cute. Uh, Fairy Garden. That's a really cool card. And Frogadier. So now I have all the uh, Stage 1s of the starters. That's cool. The Reverse is a Reverse Ekans. That's a common. We got the regular of this in the previous pack, I believe. And for the Rare, it is a regular Rare McCargo. Let's see if focus on that. There we go. Magma Missile. That's a pretty cool attack. Uh, moving on to the last pack art. Mega Venusaur. Nope. These are really difficult to save. They just rip apart quite easily. Compare to the side. And let's go. We have Venipede. I actually got a shiny Venipede, re uh, not recently, a while ago, but it was my first wild encounter shiny ever, completely random. Here is a Jigglypuff, that is a different artwork. As I mentioned, I really like the texture look pattern for the fairy type cards. Uh, Ladyba, Sandile, and another Diglett. The uncommons, we have Roller Skates, that's pretty cool. Uh, flip a coin of heads, draw three cards, that's okay. Uh, Electrode. Um, the grass there looks like maybe it's electric terrain, which is a pretty interesting attack. And the hard charm. Uh, interesting. Interesting uncommons, I meant to say. Uh, the reverse is a reverse Quilladin. We just got the regular of this. That's an uncommon. Again, I really like the background on this, and the Quilladin itself looks pretty cute. And the rare is a Swellow. That's also a regular rare, but I like the artwork on this. It looks pretty cool. Uh, now we have repeat pack arts because I already got through all four of them. Code card over here. Rare and reverse. Alrighty, let's see. We have Doduo, Pumpkaboo, 
Jigglypuff, this is the other artwork, the one that I got a reverse of. Slugma, that's got some really nice artwork for the background. And Haunage, I really like the artwork on the Haunage. Hopefully I can get the Dublade and Aegislash cards. Both Aegislashes would be really awesome to get. Uh, Hurtier, Shauna, everyone either loves or hates Shauna. She's annoying, but not annoying in my opinion, I don't know. And another Roller Skates. Uh, the reverse is Reverse Dublade. I was just talking about hoping to get this card. Again, I really like the background on it. Um, the whole Honage line in this set. Uh, that is an uncommon. And the rare is a Rhydon. That's pretty cool. And moving on to the last pack for this episode. That was the first chance I've had so far at actually saving the pack, but I screwed it up, so my bad. Hopefully I can get an ultra rare, but I'm not counting on it. Another hollow would be nice uh, if I can't get an ultra rare. Shelter, Fletchling, looks a lot less derpy than the Fletchling in the starter set. Swarlix, that's pretty creepy with the teeth, it looks like a demon. Uh, Staryu, and Pansir, that's got some nice artwork, it looks like it's swimming, swinging from branches in a tree, not swimming. Uh, ooh, Special Energy Rainbow Energy, that's a really cool looking card. Uh, Shadow Circle, this is the, um, counterpart to Fairy Circle, I believe it was, and then, uh, an Uncommon Inkei, Upside Down Evolution, once during your turn before your attack, if this Pokemon is confused, you may search your deck for a card that evolves from it and evolve this Pokemon. And then its attack lets you confuse both this and the opponent Pokemon. So that's actually pretty cool. And it's got 60 health, so I guess you could try to get that off early game if there weren't EXs on the field. Uh, the reverse is a shelter. That's a common. Just pulled the regular of this. And the last rare of this part is a Tauros. That's a regular. So, uh... In this part, really the only good cards I got were this uh, Reverse Rare and Hollow, which I think were in the uh, first pack, actually. Kind of funny. Um, again, the pull ratios for this set aren't that great, but hopefully I can get some Ultra Rares, uh, maybe Full Arts or Mega, uh, Mega Evolutions if I'm lucky. But I will see you guys in the next part.